Oma J Ma Vama, Bhakta A Om Shakti Ma, Hail Mary, full of grace. We are one, the one being, the one light. I am Oma J J Ma Vama Kali. So today's topic is change yourself, change the world, remember yourself as the world. So the odds of you changing the other are pretty low. <laughs> One shouldn't really try and energy output, let's say, to reward is pretty low. <laughs> the other usually winds up resenting you. It's frustrating. You, maybe you've noticed that if someone wants to change, that's the key. They have to really want to change and then that change seems to come from within that's driving them. Advices are fine, but the internal desire for transformation and for change has to be just that internal, cannot be imposed. So let's say your outside life, your relationships, your work, your health, your day-to-day -day living and mood are not what you'd like. filled with conflict or confusion or pain or repeating patterns that you see yourself. You feel maybe disconnected from spirit, overly connected to the material realm, worried, anxious, insomnia, overeating, comfort eating, over-exercising, under-exercising, over-caffeinated, over cacao <laughs> So we try to manage this uh, state of affairs, which I was in too for a long time, with any tool we can. But it's uh, unmanageable. The only way we can affect everything, everyone around us is by transforming ourselves. So when your field, when your being becomes so joyous and loving and vibrant and connected to spirit and earth, then every aspect of your life will transform. How could it not? So within, so without. One of the oldest spiritual axioms. So just imagine as a thought experiment, you know, when you're filled with joy and love, connected to spirit, grounded, not indulging in different varied addictions, you're clear, clear-headed, clear-hearted, no resentment, fear is dissipated, anxiety is not something you experience, now imagine, we've all had those experiences at some point in our lives. Now imagine them all together. And then even conflicts would just be like water off a duck's back. And then maybe those conflicts wouldn't even arise because your field would be such that you're just not, yeah, resonating with that or reflecting that or mirroring that. We say like your subconscious calling it in. So by radically transforming ourselves into the love I am, it will transform our inner experience, our health, right? How can the love I am be addicted to different substances and things and programs and beliefs? It's not really possible. You've re remembered yourself as love. So now your whole internal world has transformed your health, your attitude, patterns, fears, all that. And now your external world starts to reflect your internal world. So maybe you still have relationships or patterns or situations from the prior iteration when you were more contracted, but 
now in your less contracted state, in your open state, uh, you no longer resonate with and mirror those contracting vibes. So naturally, the people, places, things, whatever, that used to resonate in that vibration begin to fall away, naturally. And then you might see like, wow, this relationship or this place or this thing, this, this mode of operation, this belief is no longer serving me. Suddenly you realize it yourself and you drop that thing, that belief, that place, that person, whatever, and you get even less contracted. But before you didn't even see it. Like before you like to go complain at the coffee shop all the time. Now you don't drink coffee and you don't complain. So the need for to interact with the people who you met at the coffee shop to complain and drink coffee and maybe smoke cigarettes and whatever is no longer resonating at all. So that just drop, will drop away. And you realize that the complaining was an addiction, the coffee was an addiction, the cigarettes were addiction. The meeting in that meeting to do that, meeting up to like, yeah, be in that field was all an addiction. Complaining is a big addiction. So now we've transformed ourselves and now we're transforming the external too, at least our perception of the external or our day-to-day -day external. Like, you know, if we, if we go to the airline counter and we're in a terrible mood and our flight's delayed and everything and we start yelling at or complaining or whatever with the um, airline worker um, who probably gets that all day, then the uh, situation's probably not gonna turn out very smoothly. But imagine going to that same airline counter and being in your I am love and watch what happens. I've had that experience multiple times. So that's another example of change. So that person who is being kind of like treated rudely all day long, every day, you know, you come in in your I am love and it can affect them, not just for that moment, but you know, when they're telling about their day to their partner, say, oh, well, there was one moment, it was super nice. You know, I, I remember in my journey, conversations I had with people that, yeah, like the woman who was cutting my hair, and then I came back two years later and she'd completely transformed. I had left New York. And uh, I'm like, what happened? She lost like 30 kilos, quit smoking, quit drinking. Now she, when she meets her friends, it's to go to the gym, go in the park for a walk. I, I, she told me in the last conversation that she could never give up her wine and that when I was telling her about my health journey, she just said, it's not, not for me, no thanks. So when I asked her two years later, I didn't even remember all that. And she said it was our conversation. <laughs> what? So even just being authentically in your I am love and your joy and in your health and relaying your experiences to someone else, even someone who, you know, she loved her wine, she was not trying to go on a health journey, nothing. Completely transformed. So that's the effect you can have. I remember another time I met a friend in Ibiza who was uh, chain smoking. Three packs a day, I think. Something like that. And uh, Ibiza is the kind of place that encourages that kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, same kind of story. I saw her a year later. She hugged me, such warm, loving hug. And she told me she quit smoking. And I said, wow, amazing. Did you do hypnosis or did you, you know, what did you do? And she goes, after your conversation, I dropped it the next day. So you see, I'm not imposing, trying to control, trying to talk someone into it, you know, just, I could say like inspiring with my own journey uh, is enough for who's ever aligned or whatever coming in the field or their numbers up to align to this like lighter, higher vibration. So you can change people that way by inspiring them, by just being the love you are, being the radiant health you are. And now we're on to the final, final part. So we're internally changing. Then our perspective and our reality changes. 
then we're inspiring the other to change, maybe. You have to imagine all your interactions, all your relationships, all your, everything you come in contact with now is in some kind of symbiotic relationship to your I am love presence. How can it not be? That's your field. That's, that's the energy you're carrying. That's the frequency you're carrying. So everything will have to match up to that to some degree. But it doesn't stop there because at another phase, you'll realize you are the world. That what is the change that you've affected internally has literally changed the world. Not just your perception of the world, it has changed the world because the woman who went on the health kick, the woman who quit smoking, the whatever, they are changed. And then she went to the gym with her girlfriends as opposed to going out drinking wine. So, and her mother and her sister, she told me like her whole crew got a health kick because of her. They were inspired. So that's how the ripple of transformation happens. You have no idea, even what you changing can affect thousands and thousands of people. And we have YouTube also to help amplify or Instagram. So people know what's possible. What's possible for them, yeah. What's possible for everyone. Mm. So you will realize at some point that you are the world, that the change that's been affected internally is the same that's the change that's happened externally. So within, so without. It doesn't stop just at a certain place. No, so within, so without, without qualifiers. When you realize yourself as the world, yeah. But first we have to go through the steps. Change yourself, change your reality, inspire the other, remember yourself as the world. Om Ma Jai Ma Vama, Bhakta A Om Shakti Ma, Hail Mary, full of grace, all is one. Om Namah Shivaya.